how to send custom notifications using Flow in Salesforce. Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can create custom notifications using Flow. Now we're here, we're at the salesflow.com dashboard. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the top right and click this icon over here. We would simply click on the, the option setup. Then this will redirect us to this. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to the left side and we're going to click on the search button. Then we're going to search custom notification. Now over here we have the notification builder and we have under it custom notification. Now we're going to double click this. Then this will take us to this page over here. Now when we create notification types, the notification name will appear over here. It will also show the API name, namespace, desktop, and mobile. The next thing we're going to do is click on the new button on this top right. Then we would need to create a custom notification name. What I'm going to put for now is testing custom notif notif. It's going to be the same with the API name. And then we're going to click on the supported channels, which is desktop and mobile. Then I'm going to click save. Now as you can see, our page has been updated and then we can see the notification name over here, the API name, namespace, desktop, and mobile. Now if you want to delete this notification type, you can simply click on this icon over here. Then you can click on edit or delete. Now the next thing we're going to do is go back to the search bar and then we're going to search flow. As you can see here, we have multiple options for flow. Like under apps, there's lightning bolt and then flow category. For process automation, there's automation home, flows, pause and failed flow interviews, process builder, workflow actions, email alert, identity, and login flows. Now what we're going to click on is this flows over here. We're going to click this and then this would redirect us to the flows of our Salesforce. Now, as we can see here, there's flows label over here, process type, active status, template, package state, and many more. The next thing we're going to do is look at the top right and click on new flow. Now over here, we are redirected to this page. Now over here, we have five options. We have screen flow, scheduled trigger flow, auto launch flow, record triggered flow, and platform event. What we're going to select is the record trigger flow. Then we're going to click on create. Now over here, we're going to choose an object. We're going to put in opportunity. Then we're going to click this. And then we're going to choose a configure trigger, which is when will the flow be triggered? We're going to click on our when our record is updated. And for the condition requirements, we're going to select all conditions are met. Now under the field, we're going to put amount. As you can see here on the second option, we're going to click the amount. And then over here on the value, we're going to input the word true. We're going to change the equator to, we're going to change the operator to is changed. Then we're going back here and then we're going to click this option over here. Now below here on the optimize the flow form, we're simply going to leave the option as the selected here, which is the actions and related records. Now after that, we're simply going to click on done. As you can see here, we have our starting workflow on our center. So we're going to click this icon over here, and then we're going to click on new resource. We're going to click on the resource type, and then we're going to choose variable. We're going to name this as recipient ID. Same with on here. And then we're going to select a data type. We have a multiple options such as tax, record, number, currency, bullion, date, date, and time, and pick list. What we're going to choose is tax. And then we're going to enable this checkbox. And then we're simply going to click on done. We're going to add a new resource once again by clicking the new resource button. Now the resource type we're going to use is called formula. Now the API name will be custom notification body. 
we need to copy this and then we're going to put it in the same as description then we're going to click on the data type then we're going to click on text you can put your formula over here but i don't have a formula right now so we're we're simply gonna put in testing then we're going to click on done now the next thing we're going to do is click this addition button in the middle which is add element we're going to use the assignment value bar we're going to use the assignment element. What we're doing right now is we're going to access the variables into our flow. We're going to put in our label assign the sheep get ID to correct our, our mistake. And for our variable, we're going to select this first option here called recipient ID. We're going to change our operator to add. And then on the value, you're going to search record. Then we're going to click on record opportunity and then account and then owner ID. Now after that, we're simply going to click on done. Now we're going to add another element by simply clicking this. We're simply going to scroll down and click on get records. We're going to name it get custom notification, get custom notification type. Then we're going to search the object as custom notification type and we're going to select this option then we would have more uh, more requirements to do over here now under the field we're going to put developer name then over here we're going to type in opportunity amount update notification then we're going to click on done and then the next thing we're going to do is add another element and then we're going to use add action. We're going to click on the search bar and then search send not cost send custom notification. Then we would need to answer all of this information. On the label, we're going to put a send notification to account owner. Current could copy that, then paste in description. Now over here on the custom notification type ID, simply going to scroll down and then we're going to use this custom notification type ID and then ID. Going to click this then type in ID and click on this option over here. For the notification body, we're going to simply choose the formula. Scroll down a bit. Now over here on the notification title, we're just simply going to put opportunity amount change. For the recipient, we're simply going to choose the recipient ID. Then we're going to scroll down. We're going to enable target ID. We're going to search record opportunity and then ID. We're going to look for the ID, this one. Then we're going to, and then we're going to click done. Now that's our flow and then we're simply going to click on save. Then we're going to label our flow label. Test flow. Test flow. Then we're going to click on save. Now after saving this, you can simply run it and then you can test it by changing amounts on the account and then you will get a notification using this flow that we have just created. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching.